Hey everybody, this is Burke, and I have got a super quick tip for you tonight on using application settings as local storage. Uh, Nick Raboy has done a, a more complex video on this that you can check out on YouTube. I'll put a link to that in the notes for this one. Um, so for this one, I was porting the Angular 2 to do MVC app to NativeScript because you can now use Angular 2 in NativeScript and it's really cool. And um, it, you'll notice here that there's, if we go to the app folder, this is for the web app for the Angular 2, um, there's a main app file here and then there's a services folder and there's a, a store.ts uh, file inside. So what we can do here is we can actually take this entire file, I'll just, in fact, let's just get the raw. Um, I'm just gonna copy this thing verbatim and I have, Oops, let me get to the right code window here. I have a file here already, but we'll just take all this out uh, and save this. We just I've just copied in everything from this other file here. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah, so we're pretty good. The only thing that I need to add here, because this is native script, and actually this should be on the web portion as well, but we need to get injectable in uh, from, oops, Angular 2, I like the single quotes. Angular 2 core, and then we need to specify that this to-do store is injectable because this thing actually gets injected into the um, main app component. But one of the things you'll notice here is that there's this local storage.get item, and then um, uh, down a little further is a local storage.set item. There's no local storage API in NativeScript, but there's something called application settings that is extremely similar. Uh, so what we'll do is just go up here and we'll say uh, import star as app settings from uh, application settings. All right, there we go. Uh, and then we'll come down here and for the local storage here, for the persisted to do's, instead of saying local storage.get item, we'll say um, app settings dot get it, app settings doesn't have get item it has get string get boolean get number because it's dealing with native storage you can actually store different types instead of just strings but if you want it to behave like local storage you can just use uh, set string uh, excuse me get string so in this case what this is doing is it's saying get this uh, it's a key value store so get this any any value with angular js to do's on it or return an empty array and when you do that parse it out because we're going to be storing the string as a as a json uh, string or json object and then here on the update store method down here this is where things actually get persisted back to the local storage of the application settings so here we're just going to say app settings and then instead of set item, it set string in here. And then you can see we're stringifying this dot to do's right here. So we're actually storing this into the application settings. So let's go ahead and run this. And uh, we'll actually stick a breakpoint here so we can look at application settings a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, launch this on Android. Okay, I didn't have my Genie Motion emulator running, so I did jump out and do that. Uh, so I just fast forwarded through all this for you to get directly to uh, past the first build. So we broke on the first line of the application. We'll continue on. And then in the app, we'll just add a new item here. So we'll just say new item. And then we'll go into the app, um, update store here and we can look at the different things that we can do here. So if you look at this to do's, this is actually an array. If we wanted to store this in application settings, we need to stringify it or turn it into a string that we can store and then pull out later. And we do that by using the JSON API. The same JSON API that you have in the browser is available to you in NativeScript. So we'll say, uh, if we did stringify, um, we can say json.stringify um, this.todos, and it'll give us a string representation of this array. And if we said app settings uh, dot uh, set string, uh, Angular to this is what we're calling it to do's yep and then we said uh, JSON dot stringify this dot to do's basically executing this code from above uh, what will happen is we'll get back undefined but if we go now look at this so if we say app settings dot get string Angular Angular to to do's we'll get back Oh, oops, I misspelled app settings. App settings. We'll actually get back that string that we stored in there. And if we do json.parse, and then uh, this business from up here, this app settings, if we do this whole thing, uh, copy this down here, what we'll get back is actually an array. So we're right back to the array again. And in everything, uh, there's no observables in uh, Angular 2. They're all just plain arrays. So that's how you use application settings, just like local storage in NativeScript. Enjoy.